Hi, this is Mike Doe with Melco, part of the applications team, and today I'd like to give you an overview of the Bravo machine. Bravo machine is a prosumer level machine, um, has 16 cones of thread. You'll notice that the cones are right out front. Um, that allows easy access, so instead of the cones being behind or the thread running up and having a chance to tangle with itself, very hard to re-thread, um, this system is very easy. So what I'm going to do is I'll take cone 3 off, this brown. We'll just go ahead and pull it off, just break the thread. And uh, let's say we want to put this green in place of the brown. We would just slide it onto the post, pull the thread through, and we're going to tie a square knot. Square knot, um, just for your knowledge, will actually pull right through the eye of the needle. So we've got ourselves a square knot. We're going to lift our presser, our um, pinch roller on number 3. And we're just going to pull that brown thread, and you'll notice that the green will just pop right through the eye of the needle, and we've re-threaded the machine. That's how easy it is to thread or change a cone of thread onto the Bravo machine. Um, so we'll kind of cruise down a little bit. Once again, 16 cones of thread on top. Next part we were just talking about is the pinch roller. The Bravo uses a system called Actifeet. So instead of a tensioning system, um, like what you would see on your sewing machine or other types of embroidery machines, we are actually actively feeding the thread down to the material. So instead of getting issues with tensioning and not knowing where to set it, we actually automate that process. And we'll get into that in the next video on the software overview of how the Actifeet system can be controlled and what information it needs from you. It's very easy. So from there, real simple path, the thread goes down. This is our thread break sensor. Um, this actually detects for both the threads, uh, upper threads and the bobbin threads. So there's no chance of, of getting a dirty bobbin uh, sensor down below and getting false bobbin outs and things like that. So it goes around that, comes back up through this plate, goes through the take up lever, back through the plate, down through this piece of felt to dampen it, and then through the eye, and then right through the, uh, the needle. You'll also notice that there's no needle clamp on there that you have to really get creative to get the thread around. Um, we try to make it as easy as possible without sacrificing quality. The quality of sews from the Bravo is just phenomenal. So the last thing I want to show you is the, uh, the, the grabber. So this is the grabber that keeps the thread back into the trap and the presser foot. So you'll notice on needle number nine, there's only one presser foot on this machine. So if you start doing thicker or thinner materials, instead of having to go through and adjust the presser foot for all the different needles, there's only one to adjust. And it turns out, I'll go ahead and move this over a little bit so you can see it. There's actually a real nice uh, mechanical wheel here. And you can, right now it's all the way down, and you can go up a couple clicks to reset that all the way up would be like a hat, and that's as easy as it is to use that presser foot and adjust it for different types of materials. From there, we'll go down, and so that's pretty much it on the needle case and the threads. From there, we'll go down and let's talk about um, the lower arms. So this is the smallest lower arm in the industry. Um, very easy to get to the bobbin. Uh, so this is an L-style bobbin um, and bobbin case. Uh, and, you know, you get a real small area so you can get into, like, pockets on your shirts. Um, I've seen people do pockets on anything from bags to smaller things that usually you wouldn't be able to do, like an elephant's ear or, you know, a stuffed animal that you want to sew on. So it's, it's really, really nice to have that small lower arm and not have a lot of bulk that you have to put inside uh, a product to be able to actually sew it. And we put that back in there, hear the snap. And the other thing that uh, we kind of went by and we'll go back to is the, uh, um, the actual hoop arms. So there's several different size hoop arms depending on which package of Bravo you have um, to fit the hoops that you get. Uh, so that's kind of an overview of the Bravo machine. Hope you uh, like this and uh, let us know if you have any questions. Thank you.